Our money man, Dan Johnson, joins us now to talk about what we can do with our cash. You know, we get a lot of questions, and, and you really helped me on this last one, just talking about uh, in terms of how much life insurance and all that good stuff. Now we're going to talk about uh, Hal Ask. An older friend of mine from church said his long-term care insurance almost doubled this year. Yeah. Uh, how do I know my policy won't do that? Okay, that was a great question. Uh, Hal has been a friend and a client of mine for years. Um, a lot of y'all probably actually know him. Uh, I was eating lunch with him at uh, Chick-fil-A. That's He owns the place. I, I know how well, okay. yeah. So we're sitting there, and this older friend of his had come in and said, what do I do about this? I don't think I can afford it anymore. And so this is a very valid concern. So here's the issue. 71% of seniors are going to use long-term care benefits, whether that's care at home, assisted living, uh, nursing homes, it's very expensive. So around here it's about $3,000 a month. The insurance is a lot less than that, but there's a problem. Now all the insurance companies are raising their rates saying, oh my gosh, how are we going to pay for all of this? Uh, so there's two answers. Number one, you can check out the ratings and the strength of the company that you get your insurance from. Okay. The stronger they are, the better their ratings, the better their reserves, the less likely they are to raise their rates. Okay? Okay. They still reserve the right to do so, but the less likely. There are a few companies that have never had to raise rates, and I don't anticipate that they will. Um, I'm not going to endorse them here on the show. Um, but if you call me, let me know. I'll let you know which ones they are. Uh, the second thing is you can prepay your insurance. So for 10 years or 20 years or however long, that way you're locked in. So if in the future they raise their rates, it doesn't bother you. You're totally paid for. All right, and we're going to tell you how to get in touch with Dan at the end of it. Next yeah. question is, and Hal, is, he, he's a great guy. Makes a heck of a chicken sandwich. I love right. him. And ask, we're getting so much stuff in the mail about Medicare supplements. Yeah. How on earth am I supposed to know which one of these is right for my husband and me? That's tough. Medicare is difficult to understand. There are 10 parts to Medicare, plus the drug coverage, plus the Advantage plans. This is not easy stuff to understand. So first off, you've got to talk to someone who really studies this stuff and knows what's going on. Um, all 10 of these do something different, so it is difficult to know which one is right. And you probably get stuff in the mail all the time if you're 50 or you're 55 or over. What I do is I have a handy dandy little easy to understand chart that actually goes into all the different parts and what they provide in simple language. Uh, that's what I use. And so what I was going to say um, for this caller was, let me know, call me at my office, send us an email, and I will be happy to give you a copy of this. It's much easier to understand that way. The other thing, um, I, typically I recommend part F, yeah. um, but I'd have to tell you why specifically. So like I said, I'll be glad to do that. Um, the other thing is insurance companies are required by law to give the same coverage to everyone under these parts. So the important thing is which company, because they just charge different okay. amounts for it. Okay, uh, The most popular one right now charges about 25% more than the same coverage somewhere else. Wow. But you wouldn't know that unless you shopped it. All right. Okay? Jamie asks, I'm getting close to retirement age, but with the way the world keeps changing, I don't know if I'm comfortable leaving work. How will I know when I am ready to retire? That is a tough question, but it's a fun conversation. It's an important conversation. There's a personal side of it that we can talk about. The financial side, here's what you do. Take all of your income that you'll get, Social Security, any pension plans, teacher retirement, anything, add to that 5% of your total investments and savings. Okay, So if you've got $100,000, you've got 5000 bucks. That's what you can spend in a year. So divide it by 12, that gives you what your monthly amount is. Like I said, add that to your Social Security. That's your income. All right. That needs to be at least 80% of your current monthly bills. If it's not, you're probably not ready yet. Okay, once you've gotten all this, this was just a sh short snippet. The one yep. thing that you take from this, you, you don't have to go through this alone. You can get a hold of uh, our money man, Dan Johnson. Uh, let me give you this email address. It's danjohnson411 at gmail.com. Yep. You can also ask him any questions over at myhighplanes.biz. And Dan, what's your phone number real quick at the office? 350-7444. It's an easy one. All right. Dan, thank you so much for coming Thanks, in. Andy. You make it seem so easy. I try. Uh, this is like you need a degree in that. <laughs> We've got some gifts that would surely satisfy the, the picky person in your family. We're going beyond the boring today as we uncover holiday gifts for every single budget. Don't go anywhere. The Studio 4 Kitchen is brought to you by Big State Remodeling. Let Big State improve the